Hey, what's up everyone? It's will be Tech back again with a new exciting video. In today's video, we've got to talk about the new camera app on Oxygen OS 12. Alright guys, so if you guys do like this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe for some more videos. It really helps me out. So, this is the OnePlus 9 Pro on Oxygen OS 12 and the camera app, it's entirely different and this is a new experience. So, for you guys out there, some of you guys who have never used the OnePlus 9 Pro before, it might not you know, make much of a difference for you. And for me, it made a world of difference because I spent like at least 8 months taking photos with the OnePlus 9 Pro and Oxygen 11, getting to learn the camera system and I watched the camera camera system get better and better when it came to the color science and the processing. So with this right now, you guys do know that right now in Oxygen OS 12, we have the Color OS code base. And as a result, you can't port in the camera app from Oxygen 11 to this for some reason. So what you can do is you can port in the Oppo camera app and you can go ahead and throw in some of those Oxygen 11 features like expand mode, tilt shift mode. We do have an expert mode. You don't have the same pro mode as on Oxygen 11. And things I'm missing is the ability to go ahead and save your custom settings. I think we had two slots on the one Oxygen 11 experience. And now you guys don't have that. So I'm guessing they're still working on it. And as for me, as someone who, like I said, spent eight months analyzing, taking over 3000 photos on Oxygen 11, I'm here to tell you guys that this is a whole new, completely different experience. And I was promoting, as a OnePlus photography ambassador, I was promoting the natural colors on the Hasselblad cameras. So with this update, it kind of just wiped that out a little bit. I guess it's a work in progress. So this was taken in downtown Jersey City, and it's a night shot. This is a selfie. I did shave my mustache today. The selfie camera, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to, well, guys and gals are going to enjoy it because it's one of the best I've used on a phone let me just go ahead and just show you guys real quick what i mean by that let's open up the camera app portrait mode flip this open and yeah so that's me and this actually lights the crap out of my face and there's so much features guys you guys could change the the bokeh the aperture and you guys could go ahead and change a variety of things i know of course filters but the retouch i could change my skin texture my cheek size my eye size my nose size my chin size my head size and also apply a 3d effect as well now the question out there is is a camera on this better than the one on oxygen os 11 and the answer it's not very clear here's the thing guys if you are a non-photographer and you suck at taking photos you're probably gonna have a better time with this one because this has the ai built in on oxygen 11 with my expertise and cameras and whatnot I was able to take some really good photos, but I had to think about a lot of things. I had to think about the lighting conditions, I had to think about the subject, I had to think about whether or not, should I go with a higher resolution mode? Should I go with a wide angle you know, shot on this one? So all those things I think about when I'm taking a photo, you guys are probably not gonna think about, so you're gonna use this AI mode. And as for me, when it comes to analyzing photos, I do a lot of pixel peeping. So most of you guys are just gonna share it on social media, and that's fine with me. But if I'm um, as a professional, I'm going to see a lot of the flaws in the images. And for the most part, most people aren't going to do that. So for the average consumer, I think this camera app would just be fine for them. So I'm going to take a step back as from being that guy who just overanalyzes all these images and whatnot. For the most part, you got to think about your main consumer base. All right, so let's go ahead and start with photo number one. This was taken with night mode. Most of these were taken with night mode. And as you guys could see, it looks pretty bright. And as for the detail and whatnot, you're not really going to notice anything until you really zoom in. On this phone, it's pretty much fine for everyone. But if you were to compare this to the Pixel 6, then you're going to notice all that extra detail. Now, as for picture number two, this is another clean shot. I'm not going to say anything. You guys are the average consumers, and I want you guys to be the judge for yourselves. If I say the photo sucks, you know, that's going to cause problems. If I say the photos are magnificent, that's going to cause some problems too. I'm not going to pixel peep. I just want you guys because you guys are sharing this on social media. You guys are not pro photographers. So I'm just going to talk to you guys as if you're just, you know, average consumers. So let me know down below what you guys think about these images. Um, to my eyes right now, from a distance away on this small device, uh, they look pretty good. Very well exposed, very bright. And one thing I do have to say is that that shutter speed, that shutter count, I thought it was really fast. And that was until I was using it against the Pixel, which has a very much faster shutter speed. And that was quite interesting. Now the processing on the Pixel, it does take, you know, a little bit, you know, a few seconds sometimes. But the shutter speed is what matters the most. You guys want to get that shot ASAP. So let me know what you guys think about these images. I'm just going to go ahead and play some music and sit back. 
Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the photos. Now, I do have some images I've taken side by side with the Pixel 6. I'll make this another video and I'll do my own analysis between these two devices with the photos in that video. So be sure to subscribe. Um, but anyways, guys, you know, for the average person out there, I think this camera app, it's pretty much just perfect for them. Now, it's easy to navigate, easy to understand. There's not anything that's going to go ahead and make you guys feel uncomfortable when taking photos. I mean, just it's pretty simple. It's simple as it goes. And even for the macro mode, the auto macro mode, I think it does a better job at you know focusing on closer objects than on Oxygen 11. But like I said, and I'm a big fan of the overall processing on Oxygen OS 11. I'm a big fan of the work that the camera team did on that camera app but anyways guys let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below this is alter tech signing out if you guys want to see a video of all the neat features on this camera app the link will be in the description anyways guys it's alter tech signing out hope you guys have a great and wonderful day take care peace